Hello everyone, what's going on? I'm Gareth the Master974 back again today on the 5th of September, or in other words, my birthday. You can leave your wishes in the comment section down below if you really want to. Hopefully this video gets uploaded on this day as well, but I thought, you know what, I've been asked to do this for a little bit now, and I've just suddenly decided to do it. So as you can see, I'm over on GitHub. I created an account and I've created a fork of the Source 2013 code from Valve called Source Code Tutorials. I'll leave a link to that in the description. And basically what I've done is I've added most of the stuff that I've covered in my Valve Source Code Tutorial series, uh, excluding stuff like shaders and also the single player source shorts stuff as well. So I've leaved, or left links in the readme over here so you can check the playlists out to know where the code changes are coming from. So if I go under say the SP and SRC branch, then you can see I've added a general folder which contains a .fgd file. So you can add stuff like the fizz gun, the sniper combine guard gun, and other stuff from the tutorials that I've covered. And if we go back to say the game folder we can go to the shared hl2 folder you can go to hl2 game rules and see some of the changes that i've made so for example that's going to be stuff like um, custom convars like how about no for removing the uh, flare range stuff um, we can go back to stuff like the client as well and i've added a separate folder called tutorials for anything that is specific to what I've done and I've also got the uh, dynamic render to texture shadow stuff from Saul Renison so big ups and I've also decided to modify the client and server base.vpc files as well so in case you need to see any of the changes that I've made I've actually made an entire section which if you could create a games or everything solution then what should happen is as a filter called tutorials and it will, it will contain all of these files and it is going to be related to all of the tutorials that I've done on the channel so if you only want certain features from this then yeah you're gonna have to sort of look through this and see which uh, files that it is that you want so stuff that gets used a lot would be stuff like hl2 game rules and player.cpp for stuff like the impulse 101 commands to give you weapons like the combine guard gun, the flare gun, the immolator, the molotov and stuff like that. You might not want all of those so you just need to remove those files but um, yeah that's pretty much what I wanted to do today is let you know that this github is live and as I say here um, I've excluded shader stuff because shader stuff is a sort of person by person basis. You might want the PBR shader or the um parallax corrected cube map shader but you might not want both so it's you know difficult to say you know what to do in that regard and also i've not done anything with the multiplayer code as you see the multiplayer code is pretty much untouched there have been stuff that i've done which is delving into the multiplayer side of things and i haven't really looked into that yet so i'll probably look into that in the future just not anytime soon and I don't know how I'm going to work this in terms of uploading code to the GitHub if I'm just going to wait a bit of time, then upload the changes or just upload changes as they come around. Maybe you can let me know in the comment section down below how you feel about this and why not leave a sort of watch and a star over on this GitHub page if you like what I'm doing. So as always, have a great day everyone. Peace out and I hope to see you for whatever I decide to do next. Take care out there.